Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Collector's Haven. My name is Mike Pingo, your host. And today we are going to dive into celebrity autographs. We have Chase in the house who is who's had autographs on photos and on books and magazines and posters. And he also collects TV and movie prop memorabilia. Chase, welcome to the show. Hey, hey, everybody. Wow. How did you get into collecting now now was it collecting autographs first or was it collecting toys or how did you get into it well my my nan and papa got me into collecting by taking me to like mu- museums and they took me to like flea markets and and like habitat for humanity and places like that on the weekends and they're the ones that really got me started in this they were the big influence in, in my life and then i was a huge tv show person so i'd watch like all the big cartoon shows on saturday and so I've always wanted to collect this. So about six years ago, I got into collecting this stuff and thought it was just really awesome. Excellent. Well, I brought my book of some collect some autographs. There's uh, Don Wells, the late Don Wells. There's Don. Okay, I, I have that one also. These are all way my collection. Before your time way before your time. Uh, Debbie Reynolds and uh, okay. Carol Channing, uh, Wendy from uh, that show, and of course. One of my favorites. We have uh, Anthony Daniels. Who else? Who else do we have? We have to show. Well, there's Tanya Roberts. And okay. Anyway, just a bunch of people, a bunch of classic people. I just wanted to share a little bit of mine. Okay. I know your collection is much more massive than mine is. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty big. So I'll Oops. show you some of my, oh, show yeah, you yeah. Some of my autographs. Let's do it. Who was the first person you, who was the first person you got autographed from? First person I got an autograph was a a band called Oh shoot, let me see if I can turn it around. Let me see if I can turn it around and show it to you. Is this one right here? The band Overflow. I got that when I was in high school on a on a college trip. So that's fantastic. Oh, look at all this stuff you have. Oh, I'm excited. And then I'll show you my autograph book. It's right here. So I have the mom from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And then that, that's a golf celebrity, a music celebrity. And then I have Ray Stevens. And then B, BJ, the voice of BJ from Barney. And then the group that wrote the song for Hawaii Five O. It's a really cool one. And then these are these are people from the TV show Cool House. And then Bubba from the TV show Mama's Family. And then this is one from the movie Jumanji. And then there's a really cool one in here somewhere. And then there is one from Gomer Powell. There's a really cool one in here. Somewhere. Here's one from the Little House in the Prairie. And then here is William Daniels from Boy Meets World. You can see it there. And then Steve Urkel from Family Matters. And then one of my top favorite is Bob West from the Barney show. Cause I grew up with that, watching that pretty much all my childhood was that show. So that's just a little bit of my collection there. Wow. So with your autograph collecting, uh, where do you, um, where do you get most of your autographs? Do you go to shows? Do you go to autograph shows? Mm, it's a, com- it's a combination. I go to shows and then I go to um, like websites, like e- of course, like eBay and, and like, Zobe and other places like that and buy a lot of my autographs. Okay, so that, that brings us to the other question I'm sure people have on their mind. How do you how do you do you work with certain people that you know those autographs are completely you know legit? How how do you um most of them I try to get a COA for so I know that it's real. And then some and then some of them I get off their actual celebrities website. So I know that's probably probably authentic. Oh good. Well, excellent. So who, the, the band was your first one. Who was your first celebrity autograph that you got? 
My first celebrity, my, my first celebrity autograph, I got free in the mail. And I'll show you that one. It's really cool. It's what really got me into really doing a huge collection of autographs. It is Leslie from the TV show Why You're Out. That was a TV show on the DIY network. I contacted her one night through her email and got that. Well, wow, that's fantastic. That so was you, my very first autograph. Wow. So you actually, you reached out to her on Facebook or, or Instagram? Or yeah, I, I, I reached out with her on Instagram, actually. And yeah. she contacted me back. Well, that, I mean, that's a great story. Great friendly story of, of celebrity sending. Have you had, yeah. do you have any bad celebrity stories? You don't have to name mm -hmm. me. <laughs> no, not, not really. I'm, I've had a good experience with most of the people I've met over the years. Not really any bad ones. Well, that's good. That's good, 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 good. Yeah, it is. So in your whole collection, what is your most prized possession you have? My most prized piece is a piece from the TV show American Chopper, if you, were, if you know that show. It is a shovel that they use for the groundbreaking of the world headquarters that they built. It was their third shop, and it was actually used in one of the episodes. And it's signed by th three of the people from the show, Paul Jr., Mikey, and Paul Sr., and it's also signed by the governor of New York. So, And I have picture proof of that. And then it, what came with it also was a actual blueprint from the building. Nice. Yeah. So that's one of my very prized pieces. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. So let's look around your room and see what okay. you have. Because I, I, I'm, I, I have some, some costumes over here, like, from, so much cool stuff. Yeah, I have some costumes from the Only the Brave movie that were sold by the screen used before they went out of business. And then I have over here some pieces from Seventh Heaven. These are actually two shirts from that show that Ruthie wore in the, in the show. And then uh, the other one. Uh, I can't think of the other person, but you can probably see it there. I think it says Ashley. Yeah, Ashley Simpson was actually who wore that. And then I have parking passes that they used for the cast when they parked at the um, actual lot. And then this is a promo poster for the show. And then I have just a slew of autographs right behind here. Right, one from Finding Dory, one from the TV show Rocco's Modern Life. And then I have one here from The Parent Trap. And then I have one from Say by the Bell. And then I have one from Bear in the Big Blue House. And all of those I got online through a couple of different websites. So, and then I have one from Home Improvement. And then I'll just keep going around and showing you some more things. I have a whole collection that I did on Mr. Rogers because I was a big Mr. Rogers fan. My parents brought me up on that TV show when I was a kid. And I got to see like the last season of that show. And I'll try to put this down so I don't. It's so shaky. And I have like a Funko Pop, a cup. I have a, all the movies that have recently come out for it. And then I'll try to move a piece of the way and show you a piece that Mr. McFeely actually sent me through the mail. Really cool piece. He actually sent me a signed piece to me from him. And I just thought that was really, really cool. And he signed like a whole letter and everything for me when he sent that. So I thought that was kind of special. And then I have the trolley. So that's just my Mr. Rogers collection. Wow, that's amazing. That's yeah, amazing. it is. I'm really excited about that collection. That is really great. And is that is that his red um, sweater? And it's and that I, is a reproduction one they came out with to honor Mr. Rogers for the 50th anniversary. But it's the closest thing you can get to it without spending a lot of money. 
And then that's it. I just put this whole little collection together just to do a little tribute for, to him. It's brilliant. Since I was a huge Mr. Rogers fan. That's great. Yeah, it is. And then I'll, these two pieces right here in this case are from the movie The Upside with Kevin Harvick. That's one of the newer, one of my newer props that I have in the collection. It's a check and then like a little touch screen that they used in the movie. Oh, how do you choose uh, the props that you actually purchased? Do you do you, movies you love, you know, things you like or the actors? Or how, how, do, how do you how do you choose and everything that's out there? Well, I normally pick movies that I like where I grew up with as a kid or or really enjoyed watching back then. And most of mine are like older movies, like like the only the only like the upside. And then I have a couple pieces from the movie Radio that Cubic Gooding Jr. played in. Those are actually his pants that he wore in the movie Radio as Radio. And then this is another character from the movie. And there's a picture of him in the actual outfit in one of the scenes. And then the COA that goes with it. And so that's one of my favorite movies when I was a kid and got to see that actually in the movie on the premiere of the movie. So that's why I'm a big, and that was actually filmed near my hometown not too far from there. Oh, nice. So, oh. so that's why I also had that in my collection. That is beautiful. Yeah. So and then I'm also a big uh, animation cell art fan. So I have a lot of cell art from the TV show Pink Panther, one of my all time favorite classic t TV cartoons. And this one's probably one of the better ones because it has that background with it. And then I have a couple from like the TV show, Rupert Bear, and then also the, the Nickelodeon show, Doug. And then I have one pencil drawing from the TV show, Inspector Gadget. So that's my cell art collection. And then a really cool piece that a lot of people are gonna say is cool is the piece from Big Bang Theory. I actually have a piece that was used in the, the background of the comic book store. Uh, it was in the background with, with him in it. And that's an autograph of him. And then I have an autograph from Steve Waz from the show and his wife. That's a really cool piece. And then here's a photo of the actual piece in the background. So you can see oh, wow. what scene it was used in. Yeah. And then I have a piece here from another classic 90s TV show called, called Home Improvement. This was an actual photo used in like the background and then a script and then like a Bemper tool, like lock catalog piece that was used on the show. And then of course I have a huge collection of Seinfeld. I'm a huge Seinfeld fan. This is actually an autograph that the writer sent me that wrote the soup Nazi scene. I contacted him through email and he sent me that. And then I also have the soup Nazi autograph on a soup ladle and a seen it board game, as you can see there. So that is my Seinfeld collection. Wow. And you even have the, you even have the, um, the picture of, uh, what's his face? The uh, 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 Kramer. Kramer, yeah. yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And I have the famous um, um, festivity pole also. So that's just a little bit of that collection. And then what really got my whole collection started was, this was the very first collection I started with, with Bozo the Clown, because I grew up with that on Sunday mornings, getting up and watching that on the Chicago station. And seeing that every Sunday morning, and I was just a huge fan of that show, and always wanted to be a kid that could get on that show, but I didn't live in the area, so the closest thing I could get to was watching it on Sundays. And I actually have an autograph from the guy back there that was the Chicago Bozo, the clown. So that's what really got me started in this about six, seven years ago. 
And then right beside it, I have some pieces from the Netflix series, Bill Nye Saves the World. These were used in season two. And this, 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 the clocks were used in the final episode of season two and the, the boat was used in the final episode. And you can see in that photo, the clocks. And then you can see kind of over here, I have a photo of the, the boat actually being used. So people know what scene it was used in. So that is my Bill Nye, the science guy piece. And then I have a, another piece that is from the movie Joyful Noise that Kiki Palmer wore in one of the scenes for about maybe five, 10 minutes in one of the scenes that was used at, in the burial scene. And then I have my poster sign by a music star that was in the movie during one of the scenes of the competition. So that is my joyful noise. And then another cool piece that I own that, that is a autographed poster is from My Girl 2, the two main actors in the movie My Girl. And then beside it is one of my all time favorite movies when I was a kid was Matilda. And this one's signed by Danny, to be, Danny and then his wife and then Matilda. So. Oh yeah, that's a great movie. I love Matilda. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I wore out like two or three VHS tapes watching that as a kid. She, she was fantastic. She was fantastic. That tells you how old I am, knowing what a VHS tape is. Oh, I, oh, I know what a VHS tape is. Yeah, yeah, that tells you. I'm, I'm, I'm probably much older than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I have a couple pieces from, a uh, couple autograph pieces from the TV show Fuller House. And this one is actually signed by, um, by, by a couple, a lot of the cast members. And then this one is signed by Steve that played on the show Full House. He signed it to me and put, got a sandwich. Aw. Yeah. So I Did thought that was one. Cool. Did you send him one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have. <laughs> so, and then I'm a big Trading Spaces TLC fan. So I have a huge Trading Spaces collection. And I've actually got to meet a couple of the stars and people from that show. And this costume here was actually worn by one of the designers from the, the show. It was used in the episode where she did some splatter paint. So you can see all the splatter all over. So that, wow. I thought that was pretty cool. And Trading Spaces, that, that's on, what network is that on? That's on TLC. Yes. It used to be called the Learning Channel way back in the day. Yes, I do remember. Yeah. 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 And so another show that's from the TL, talking about TLC, another show that's from there that's really cool if it, is a show called Pappy Land that was from TLC. And this, these are a couple pieces that Pappy actually signed. He signed a reproduction pencil. And then this is a little stuffed animal and then here's one actual his script page that came out of his script book that is signed by him and then a really cool piece that came from him was this piece it is a concept art that made that made what the show is today and that was a show about an artist in a like a little in a storybook land and he drew in every episode and had puppets in every episode and did a song in every episode for the kids. And then here is a cartoon character that he made of himself that he considers this was what he would look like if he was a superhero. And then another autograph. So that is my Pappy Land collection. That is cool. Yeah, one of my favorite shows from back in the day. And then another cool piece that I have down here is a piece from the Pawn Stars. It is actually within an episode of the Pawn Stars where Chumley bought a bunch of magazines and kind of got a really bad deal on it. So, and, and so he signed it and, and, and sent it. And so you I thought had to that pay was pretty cool. The amount because he had to pay a bad deal. You had to pay more for it. <laughs> yeah, he paid more than what it was worth. And he probably shouldn't have bought the deal. So, but then so they, for them to make money off of it, they they're selling them and signing them now. 
and and having you pay a lot more than you should, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, in your collection, what is what is your? I, I don't think I asked this question, but what is your most prized possession in your in your collection? What is the one thing that is the holy grail for you? I'd probably say that shovel was probably my holy grail. It's probably my favorite piece. I could see that. I can totally see that. Um, so what was that was your favorite, but what is the weirdest collectible you have on in you? Do you have a weird, wacky thing someone signed for you or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Probably a piece fr from a TV, like a um, local access TV show out. I think it was out in Connecticut or Pennsylvania somewhere. It is a piece from the Crayon Man show. And the actual, the producer signed all these pieces for me. And that's probably my, I would say my weirdest pieces. And that was and a, a, whole a, a show was about a crayon, the crayons? It was about a crayon man. This guy right here, he was like a fictional character and he would go on the show and draw for kids and interact with the kids on like a local access TV show. And then these are just a bunch of autographs that I have. So that's probably my weirdest piece. Yeah. I would I would have hoped you wore the outfit and got it, and then you could be doing this. No, a little too weird. <laughs> <laughs> a little too weird. Okay, so, so that was the weirdest one. What was the hardest one for you to get? Is there one that you were after and it was the hardest one, or you worked harder to get that collectible or, or prop or autograph? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have to say there's a piece that's in my trading spaces collection that I recently just picked up not too long ago. Been looking for it for maybe three or four years. It's probably the hardest trading spaces um, merchandise piece to get. It is the two-story dollhouse that they sold in all the craft stores back then for kids to buy and put them together. That's probably my hardest piece that I've gotten because there's not very many left out there from the show. Wow. And it looked like you put it together well, too. Yeah, I did. You I learned did pretty something. good on it. It took a little while, but I did pretty good. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. Let's, um, what do you like most about collecting? Uh, that every piece that I own in my collection normally tells a story. I love telling stories. So that's one of my favorite things about these pieces. Beautiful. When you can tell a story with that piece. And what's your favorite story, if I can ask? Mm -hmm. it's getting to meet somebody that i don't know if i have his autograph out here get it yeah i did actually have clint howard from the movie the grinch and i actually got to meet him down at in mayberry days in mount Airy, north carolina to, uh, right before covid so that's probably one of my most prized things in stories he was just such a cool guy to meet and then this is just my Grinch collection and one of my first real actual movie props was these little bolts here that were used in the movie the, the Grinch who stole Christmas that Jim Carrey actually touched in one of the scenes that's fantastic when I he, love that movie and he is he, amazing actor it looks like he has the same hair today as he did in the movie too yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <styling>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. well that's fantastic yeah it is um what so that was was that your favorite person meeting uh of of a celebrity or was there a, another person yes that's that one of my top one of my top favorites yeah yeah i can i can tell that um yeah. Is there something in the world that you're looking for or you're hoping to find? Or is there an autograph that you're looking for? Uh, the, a piece I'm looking for is probably because I have a huge collection of, of uh, actual case model dresses from the TV show Deal or No Deal. I'm actually looking for a case from that oh, show. One of those cases. Yeah, that would be yeah. good. This is a bunch of the dresses. I have eight dresses from the, actual, the original Deal or No Deal. So here's the other. That one was used in like a Christmas episode, a superhero episode, 
and then this girl actually wore the blue one. And there's a yellow one. So wow. that's probably a piece I'm looking for, probably the most. So, so where would you get these dresses? Is, I, I, I think we talked a little bit about it in the beginning, but do, are, are there mostly um, eBay? I mainly get them on eBay. Okay. That's mainly where I find them. And there are a couple other places, maybe a couple other websites that are out there, but that's the main place. Right. And this one came from Icon Pop Culture. So I got one from Icon Pop Culture. Okay. So, and of course, you're always looking for the authenticity thing and maybe a picture. Of, yeah, on most of the pieces, you know. yeah. If I can't tell the authenticity of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had another prop person who, who was a prop collector and he, he said he he found a lot of people very helpful online in, on, in Facebook. Do you find that too? Are you in a lot of? Yeah, I found a couple of people that helped me out. That's great. So, That's great. Yeah. So, let's say a typical weekend. What do you do? Do you just go out like I'm going to go out and try to find something cool? No, I normally do a lot of researching on the internet. I can sit for hours and just look at stuff like that and find things. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's mainly where I do a lot of my research. That's nice. Yeah. You don't have to leave the air conditioning. You can just stay in. No, <laughs> that is nice. Um, what is the most expensive thing in your collection? Mm. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> mm. I would I would say the whole collection that I own of only only the only the brave. I paid up for that one when it came out because I bought that when they did the auction actually. So I went a little little bit overboard buying those. And that was a good that was a good uh, good investment, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoy having that in the collection. So um, when you when you're looking to, to purchase things, do you have like a little funds, uh, you know, a little cap of how much you want to spend on things? Yeah, I normally try to stay around one hundred dollars or less for a piece. I, I never spend over that hardly. But once in a while, I'll do go a little bit overboard. Yeah, I, for I a piece I really want. There's that one thing, you know, you might never see it again. You have to get it. You know, you have yeah. to collection. Um, so. Do you have a lot of collector friends out there or, you know, that? I have a couple of friends that are collectors. Well, that's cool. Like two or three. That's so. fantastic. So in collecting, what's your passion for collecting? Mm -hmm. Passion is probably, probably the movie stuff, probably my biggest passion. I enjoy that probably the most out of anything because I just grew up watching movies pretty much almost every weekend watching those old reruns back when everybody watched reruns of TV shows like Jumanji and, and Robert William movies and things like that back then when it when they were on just regular cable before streaming and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what really got me into all this. I remember there used to be only four, cha three channels and then there yeah. was cable that was going crazy. And now streaming is just blowing. I think everybody's mind yeah. as far as thousands of, places you can see the old stuff you love and the new stuff you love and then newer stuff you haven't even found yet yeah it's it's an amazing thing and you could sit in front of the tv i i can sit there and in any monitor for like more hours than i did even when i was a kid which is yeah awesome. yeah me too um <laughs> it's, it's a crazy thing yeah it is so what what are you looking for for your collection that if someone out there would uh have it other than, of course, the, you know, the case. But is, is there something else? So someone's autograph that you you would love to have? Mm, probably right now I'm looking probably for like a Tim Curry autograph. Oh, Tim Curry. Yeah. 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 They're playing a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. Yeah. He does. So, uh, he's, he does a lot of signings. Yeah, he does. Have you been to the big signings like Chiller? I the, have not. Not. Not yet. I think you'd have a heart attack. I don't. I don't think you'd be able to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably. Like so many people. So yeah. Many people. It's so much fun. Well, Chase, my my goodness, there's so much stuff that you have in your collection. It's amazing. Yeah, and you didn't even get to see it all. There's what? More. There's more. Yeah. Is it all in this room, or is there other rooms, or is no? It's in this room. Boxes? 
I can show you another oh. piece here. This oh, is I a piece know. from the Carol Burnett show that Rhett Turner actually designed. He was um, Bob Matthews' um, second hand on the show. To the, but we don't know which episode or who or who worked on the show, but it was used in the, the production of the Carol Burnett show. So I just thought that was cool. And then these are a lot of my autograph books at home. And then this is a really cool piece. This was a piece used in the TV show Dawson's Creek. And then I have behind there a, a revised script from the show. And then I have a little collection of the TLC show, Little People, Big World. A bunch of autographs from that show. And this was actually a ball that was used in one of the episodes that she did for a charity auction. And she signed it, Amy. And then these are just a bunch of other books that I own. Like the Duck Dynasty people and stuff. So that's just my autographed book collection. Wow. Yeah. And there's no end in sight, is there? No. <laughs> there's not. <laughs> And that's the beautiful thing about collecting. There's no, there's, there's always something more. Trust no. me. Yeah, I'm there always, is. I'm always searching. You never know when to stop. I'm three, three times a day. I'm like, I'm obsessed. What is yes. happening? What is happening? Oh my gosh. So is, is your whole collection in, in that room or is it? Other yes. It's all in this room here. Okay, great. So what happens if you get new stuff? I mean, you're going to have to get a bigger room, right? Yeah. One, one day I will. People make fun. People make fun of me because of that. They're saying you're always gonna have to get you're always gonna have to get a bigger room or put well, it in storage. There's ceiling. There's a ceiling space up there. There's air space. Yes, there is. Start flying things in. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else before we wrap this up? Because I, I feel like I want to see more. Mm. Oh, I'll show you this. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some autographs from the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's one of my all-time favorites. There's the Mike TV autograph, and then you have Gustus, and then I have Violet Boulevard back there, and then Charlie. So, and and this one, the one with my name on it, the guy that played um, Mike TV actually sent me that through the mail for free. I contacted him, and then he said, it'll be about three months. I'm out of the country, and Three months later, I came home one day and found that in the mail and was like shocked that that came in the mail. And then the other one I got through his website when I bought this piece from his website. So, and then of course I have a little piece from the Goonies, piece of the wood that was on the original house that they used in the movie, The Goonies. And then below, I have a bunch of things from the movie Titanic. Like, like the Blu-ray and a reproduction necklace and the soundtrack. And then I have a really cool piece here. It is actually a piece of the flooring from the movie. So. Wow, that is and, very cool. Yeah, it is. And then I have, of course, the Back to the Future, everybody's favorite. I have Claudia Wells' autograph and then a little reproduction hoverboard. And then I have a big reproduction hoverboard in the back there. And then the original movie poster. And I got her autograph from actually her website. And she sent me that autograph and she sent me the blue one that's there. So I thought that was really cool. That is very cool. Yeah. That is cool. And I love, I, I love the Goonies. And yeah. That's one of my favorites. It is, it is, it is a Saturday, not doing anything, pop some popcorn and movie to watch. If you yes, seen. it is. It is, it is a fun, it's, it still holds up today. It, yes, it does. Amazing. And of course, Titanic is, is iconic and um, back to the future. Yeah. It's a classic. I another one. I, th I, should, I wish they would do a new one. Okay. Yeah. I know the 30th anniversary is getting ready to come up for that movie, Back to the Future. 
So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Well, you have, you, you dabble in everything, don't you? I love it. I do. I love it. I love it. So if there's anything anybody has that they want to send you, where, where should they reach out to you? They can reach out to me at Chase, I mean, Slatton, S-L-A-T-T-O-N-820 at gmail.com. Okay, great. And you're on Facebook also or just Instagram? I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Great. If you just type in Chase Slatton, you'll find me. Well, that's fantastic. Yes, it is. Wow. First off, everything looks amazing, but that's a lot to dust, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yes. It, it's a lot of work. At least once a week. I'm dusting. I am amazed with you. I do mine at least, at least six months, every six months. Yeah. If it needs I, have a, I have a little OCD in cleaning, just a little bit. <laughs> I did not get the, I, I got the dyslexia. I did not get the OCD. That's my fault. <laughs> okay. I got the, I wish, I wish I got the OCD. I mean, my apartment, you should see it. We, that's why there's a green screen behind me. Um, <laughs> Chase, this has been amazing. You have an amazing collection. Yeah, thank you for having me on. I, I been a joy. It, it's, it was. It, I'm, I'm a little bit jealous, and a little bit excited for you. Okay. And I thank you for taking the time to chat with me and show it to everybody here on an, an, an uh, collector's haven. I forgot my show title, like always. <laughs> but um, thank you so much, and everybody out there, thank you for watching today. If you like. Please like it, put a comment and share us around the world so everybody can enjoy Chase's amazing collection of props and autographs. And, and I mean, just the, the, the outfits you have are just out of control and amazing. I mean, yeah. Thank you. So, so good. So good. Thank you so much for, thank you for your time. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll yeah. see you soon. Thank Bye. Bye.